Hello everyone, my name is Squidshaker. Welcome to another episode of Black Mirror. Now where we last left off, somebody died. <laughs> the poor Mayhelsa. <laughs> but we did find the killer. Was it an accident? Maybe. Was it intentional? It probably wasn't. Was he an idiot? Oh, you bet your ass he was. Eddie! Anyways, we also found out about my Aunt Cecilia, and of course, my stupid brain couldn't figure that out. That Cecilia is the sister of David's father, and therefore, Cecilia is, um, no, not David, Edward. Of course I wouldn't remember that asshole's name. She is Edward's daughter, and he treated her like shit because she wasn't able to produce an heir. But, remember, it's not her fault, it's her husband's. And she didn't marry her husband just to have children. She married for love. And that love is very, very admirable. Oh, and uh, we also attacked Leah. That was her name. And the ghost of my father as a child is leading me up to the attic. Let's find out what's in the attic. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, me and Leah, the doctor, have split up. I forgot where she went. I hope she doesn't die on me. Whoa. Cutscene. Whoa. Okay, that light's blue well, now. Clear enough. <laughs> so, uh, hey, Dad. It's been a while since we last spoke. Last time we spoke, uh, you, uh, well, you know, exactly, because I barely knew you, apparently. So, yeah. Oh, now it's open? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, something's up there. Well, hello, my dear Elsa. Oh, Sir Edward. You look very handsome today. Eddie? Why, thank you. Oh. You're as beautiful as ever, my little doll. Oh, my oh. God. Mwah. Mwah. Oh. Um. Eddie? I'm right behind you, dude. I mean, that's fine if you play with... That's fine if you play with action figures. But, uh, you know. There's, a uh, There's a line between... Being weird... And being awesome. And right now, you're just being plain out weird. Uh, wait, what's the other thing? Exit. Um, Eddie? I'm right here. Eddie, can you hear me? What can you tell me about Great Grandmother Rose? What did Elsa have to do? Eddie! Whoa! Um, okay, that. That was just creepy. Self-made dolls. <laughs> the stuff of nightmares. Oh god. Like I like I said, there's a line between awesome and creepy. And right now Eddie is like way deep in the creepy zone. A crucifix. Quite safe, the little rabbit said to his brothers and sisters. The fox is fast asleep, so the rabbits tiptoed past, and the fox was sly. He wasn't asleep. <gasps> what the fuck? Oh my. What? This will be the last time you defy me. What the fuck? The eyes of the fox oh, saw with cruel light as he punched on the rabbits and ate them all one by one. It was only then he went to sleep, his tummy full, his heart content. Jesus Christ, Eddie! Fucking weird ass psycho! Jesus! I would have knocked your lights out, you motherfucker! God damn it! Uh, Leah, you're a doctor, you take care of him. Jesus. 
Ooh, floorboard. What's on the other side? Is there uh, no? Can't see a switch or lever. I guess not all castles are like Edgar Allan Poe used to describe them. <laughs> all right, so we gotta find a way to get over there. Who was this? Oh, it's another photo piece. Nothing over here. Nothing in there. I guess Eddie sleeps. I guess Eddie sleeps up here. Or I don't know. I guess he was just hiding. Or does he sleep in here? Lady Margaret said to Angus Beef, take him up to his room, but... Where's his bed? Hey, if you sleep up here, I, I feel sorry for you, motherfucker. Alright, I haven't, I haven't checked in here yet. Do I set a candle on this candle holder? Not uh, the game, just paused. I mean, glitched. There's nothing over here. There's nothing over here. There's nothing over here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing over here. Nothing over there. Nothing over here, nothing, a whole lot of nothing, Eddie is sick as shit, what are you trying to tell me, nobody tell me anything, they either go crazy or they drop dead, I mean seriously, this is some kind of bullshit, finally, I find something, hold on. And we're back. A secret passage. Oh, really, Captain Obvious? That won't be long. I hope. <laughs> look after Eddie. What do you think you're doing? That's what she sounds like. I know I talked over her. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't bring the candle or anything, you dumb shit. So that was great aunt. So that was great grandmother Rose. She stood up to Edward when she was. When he was like carving uh, something into Cecilia's arm. And for that, he killed her. Wait. <laughs> you just stand up like that? Uh, just great. a little further. Just a little further. Why do you have to crawl? Can't you just crouch? Seriously, why didn't you bring the candle with it? You could have just crouched and took it with you. I mean. This is some serious bullshit. Damn ah! God damn it! Eddie! I mean, damn it! You stupid shit! Oh my god. This is some bullshit right here. Just moving on forward, and I can't even see where I am right now. I can only see those little stubs that he calls arms moving back and forth. Actually, those are his elbows. That's all you can see. Open wide. What? What? That's it, dear. Is that? Can I tell you that John's son David has arrived? He's as bothersome as his father. Not worthy of this place. Poor Angus will never recover from the sight of John's charred remains. Selfish, selfish man. Please. Don't. I do not enjoy this, as you well know. But you what? brought it on yourself. Ugh, those toenails! Your son was a good man. You should not have defied him. Oh my god. They have her chained up. Jesus Christ. This place is fucking insane. Rosemary. Oh my god. She's pelly skin and bones. Ugh. Is she still alive? I know, right? Ah! Was in the bookcase. Jesus Christ! Off to death. Well, you will insist on wandering off without telling me where you're going, and I just managed to avoid <laughs> Lady Margaret when Jesus God. <laughs> Holy shit, there's an old lady. <laughs> uh, examine. <clears throat> I saw this. In the vision. Edward beat her with it. Used it to cripple the poor woman. I know. Oh my god. And he hung it there to remind her every day. Take it down. You oh sure? yeah. Do it. 
Yeah, do it, man. Fuck Edward. Yeah, let's try and get this chain off. Actually, let's Rose talk to her first. Rosemary. Can you hear me? Excuse me. Ah, uh, that didn't work. Try and break the chain off. Is she brain damaged now? No, she can still talk. in anything you, you weak ass motherfucker rosemary <laughs> i'm david john's son your great grandson here try this what's that no like this gently oh hypnosis who did this to you Edward, I was bad. I disobeyed. Uh, disobeyed? How did you disobey? Cecilia, I tried to stop him. Stop what he was doing. What was he doing, Rosemary? Not have disappeared. <laughs> Not disturb him in the old wing. The, the old wing? Talk back. Rose. Rose. What did he do to Cecilia? I don't think you'll get anything more out of her. Poor woman. No. Oh my god, no. Come on, Lady Rosemary. We'll get you out of here. <coughs> no. We can get you somewhere safe. I'm safe here in this room. Safe from the black mirror. What black mirror? The Black Mirror. Margaret has a lot to explain. Oh my god. Yeah, I have a feeling... I think I know what he did to Cecilia. Oh my god, I swear to god. No, that... Sorry, my mic was out. Yeah, I don't think he would do that. I'm not saying it. I don't want to... I don't want to spoil anything. Alright. These fucking assholes. Margaret. Edward. I guess Eddie's okay. He's still an asshole, though. But still. These people are just god-awful bastards. Angus Beef, too. I'm gonna turn you into Angus Beef when I'm done with you, you little fuck. Alright, is there anything I'm missing in here? No. Yeah, I'm not crawling back through there. I can't even go back there. Oh, look, there's a little chamber pot in the bed. Yep. Oh, these fucking assholes. <clears throat> What's the black mirror they were talking about? I think we need to have words with her ladyship. Okay. Don't let Angus Beef kill you all. And the game froze. Lady Margaret, Mug. We need to talk about Lady Margaret, if you please. Oh fuck you! Never mind that. What the hell are you doing with Rosemary? You'll want to talk. 
You're just like your father, leaving nothing but fear and misery in your way. Oh, fuck you! What in God's name are you talking about? You spoke to young Eddie, did you not? Now he's convinced everyone is trying to kill him. He has taken poor Andrew hostage and is threatening his life. What? Where is he? He's taken him to the old wing, and he is armed. What? I'll go. I can talk to him. You will not. You two have caused quite enough trouble already. We? How dare you, when you continue to worship Edward, even though he drove poor Cecilia to drown herself. I will not allow you to... To what? To speak the truth? To say that Edward... He never touched her! He never touched her! You come here, and you... No, you. You are the one in the wrong here. You know more than you're saying, and we both know it. There's something in this place. An evil that has plagued our family for generations. Instead of blaming others, maybe you should look closer to home for the cause of your misfortune. You know nothing. What I did, what I do, everything, everything is for this family. Okay, Walter How White. How can you possibly understand? Shut up. Please, my lady, we can discuss this later. Miss Farber, you need to speak to Master Eddie. Thank you, Angus B. Take us to him. Some sense for once. Well, hey, Margaret, you can go fuck yourself in the asshole. I hope you die. You fucking bitch. And just saying that he never touched her automatically means that he touched her. Uh, have a care in the old wing. It isn't used, and for good reason. A section of wall fell into the sea some years back, and the rest is falling to ruin. Well, oh, this is the old wing? Huh. So that's where it leads. Oh my god, Eddie. I take everything back. Eddie? No! No! They're after me! All of them! Trying to kill me! Oh no. my god. Please help. Eddie, look at me, Eddie. Just at me. It's going to be alright. Stay back here. I'll try to reason with it. You will not. Yeah. This is what I do. <laughs> Don't die. Don't die. Eddie? Talk to me, Eddie. Tell me what's troubling you. Troubling me? He is! And David! They all are! They all are what, Eddie? Oh, she is good. Accusing me! Distracted. They think I killed her! Sure she can talk him into dropping the, gun. the maid, you mean? He seems but I didn't! For that. I didn't! I believe you, Eddie. I believe you. Deep and wide. I might make it, but Betty would see me. I would panic him. Yeah. Ooh, climb down. Do that. Do it. He can't see me from here. This might be a way across. Yeah, climb down, man. Ooh. Nice. Nice climb down skills. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's get a look at my surroundings first. Can't go over there. Can't go over here. Yeah, we gotta go over here. Oh, hold on. Please let me go. Why should I? Steady now. You lie. Liar. <laughs> I'm not. Please, I'm not. Of course you are. Oh. You're a lawyer. You think I couldn't hear you whispering about abducting me, accusing me of murder? I'm sorry. Sorry? For what? You said you hadn't done anything! <laughs> oh god! Just got you there! <laughs> Alright, there we go. There we go. Don't fall. Don't fall! Oh, shit! Fuck! 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 There we go. There we go. Jesus Christ, David, you scared me. We get. Go. Go. Go, 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 go. Man, all the shit I have to do. Fucking Lady Margaret. Fucking Eddie. Fucking Angus Beef. Stop wriggling about. <gasps> Stay still. 
Let him go, Eddie. Everything is all right. Don't do it. No! <gasps> Come here! No! God damn it, Andrew! You fucking asshole! All right, gotta get a weapon. Ooh, that crossbow. Seems intact. Now for some ammunition. All right. Um, take that. Bits of bone. Should work if I'm careful. Bits of bone. Anything else? Doctor Frankenstein's workplace. <laughs> I guess we're using the bits of bone. Seems intact. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut up. Shoot. Let's hope this doesn't snap under the strain. Yeah. Shoot that motherfucker. The? Oh! Leave me alone. <gasps> Whoa! What the? <gasps> Daddy! Oh, thanks, Daddy. Yeah, no. Hey, you okay? <gasps> oh. Whew. Hold still, you bastard. Whoa. What the hell? Did I do that? Holy shit, did I do that? I got powers? Holy crap! I'm a Jedi! What? What happened? Relax. Everything's fine. Fine? Are you out of your mind? Oh, please. Contain yourself, Andrew. <laughs> I most certainly will not. And I'm not spending another moment in this madhouse. I will fetch the police from the village immediately. I don't think that would be wise, sir. Yeah, I, I kind of agree. Threatening me? Perish the thought, sir. I am merely pointing out the folly of driving these roads in the dark. And besides, we may need the car if Eddie's condition worsens. The insane brat could jump off the roof for all I care. <laughs> I, for one, would rather risk my life out there than in here. Leave, then. <laughs> and before you even think of telling anyone what happened here, just remember who you are dealing with. And yes, you may consider that a threat. Angus, kindly help me with young Eddie. Careful now, just take it slowly. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. Ah, uh, it's Science okay. took a beating tonight. <laughs> After seeing what happened here, I think even Dr. Freud would agree with you. <laughs> Sigmund Freud. The Black Mirror. What is the Black Mirror? The mirror. I think it's some kind of dark force. Uh, an ancient evil summoned by the druids. And they lost control over it. I believe they never had control. Yeah. Eddie? I need to check up on Eddie and make sure he's alright. Uh, have you forgotten that he tried to kill you? <laughs> so, I'll be careful then. He's a person in need, no matter what he did. Edward. Edward knew of the mirror. He may have even understood its power. So we know what it is, but not where. It's underground. Somewhere. Reaching it. Well, that's the real conundrum. And how not to end up like your father. Yep. My father tried to destroy the mirror. To end the evil, but he failed. Now he's trapped in there. Oh. Are you talking about his soul? If that's what you want to call it. <laughs> All I know is... I... We have to find a way to free him. This... This is Edward's lair. And Margaret was none too eager on us prying. So we should pry. <laughs> I like you, Leah. You got spunk. Alright, so I believe we are in chapter four right Another. now. Another With one. The symbols carved on the rocks. Rory. Yes. 
he might know what it means. He'll probably be asleep at this late hour, though. The first time I met him was in the dead of night. So who knows? He might get lucky. Yeah. God damn it, Andrew. She had she had it, but then you fucked it up. And now I realize I got powers. Is nobody gonna is nobody gonna know that now? That I have powers? And then you're not even gonna talk about it. Son of a Whoa! <laughs> It's just a rat. It belonged to Angus. Oh uh, yeah. He was in the army. Details how to perform a cesarean section. Does that mean that Angus delivered Cecilia's baby? Ooh. That way they could keep it out of the public eye. Oh. <sighs> there is a baby. But and Cecilia said find my child but where is it this place must be a dream for a psychiatrist is it even oh nightmare is it even alive i guess it was a c-section is that a desk or a coffin looks like this is where grandfather edward did his work that's probably a desk oh it is i think it's the same one that I found in the library. What is that? Bottle oh, piece. Okay. This looks interesting. Hmm. Hello. That's the globe in the in the this hallway. That's the globe that's like in the entrance hall. I know what that is. Probably looking for this too, father. What was that? It's been a while since I looked at my badge. Hey, where did I find that key? Looks like it is part of the key father hid away for me. Yeah, it's all... It looks like it's all covered in blood, though. Looks like it is part of the key father hid away for me. Yeah. Whoops. Wrong button. Goddamn idiot. Not the right button, you stupid shit. Angus is cellar key, the pendant. The maid could never have afforded this. This is a trinket of the rich, not a servant. Oh, there there's the engraving on it too. Master key. Can I Yeah. Add part. Still not complete, it seems. Yeah, but still. Yeah, now I can make the the four way now. Right? Yeah. There we go. I can go back to the study now. And unlock that thing. But wait oh, hello. I just need to too much respect for the old man to just break this open. Alright, so we just need to God damn it, that's not the right button. Alright, so uh, yeah. Yep. Fuck. And this one goes like that. There we go. I'm a smart. To my dear father Edward, you stopped me from ending my torment many times before. But on this occasion, I'm determined you will not. I do this. Not for myself, but for my child. A child that should never have been. A child born, not from love, but from cruelty. I'm taking my baby with me to save it from this rotten family. For it does not deserve to be cast into this world and into this damned place. Oh, Cecilia Gordon. Oh my god. Oh 
my god, I think I know what he did. I just don't want to say it. What does it say? <sighs> the ramblings of a lunatic. He talks of a place of great power in an abandoned village. Any mention of where it is? No such luck. Just that it's where, as he charmingly puts it, his whore of a mother pushed him out into the world. He was born in this village. At the place of power. Yes, but it puts us no nearer to finding it. It does. His mother will know the location. Of course. Rosemary! There's a she's not already dead. Eddie already took everything he could find. Oh, he did. This looks interesting. Hmm. This looks interesting. I know what that is. That's the globe. Well, I guess we're done here. And yeah, I think Edward forced himself on Cecilia to make a baby of his own. Edward, I am so glad you're dead. You are a fucking evil person. And I know you're still alive in the spirit world. And I'll make sure you go into limbo. Hell is... Actually, hell fits for you. Yeah, you can go to help, motherfucker. Examine. Oh yeah, I haven't checked everything. Want to do his delicate work in the dark. No sign of the village. But you should take it anyway. Ooh, raw alcohol. Ugh, raw alcohol. The blood stains on it are old and dry. Hmm. Huh. Angus and Eddie. The family that slays together, stays together. <laughs> Eddie is truly desperate to be a great Gordon like his grandfather. Yeah. Empty. Another of Eddie's horrors waiting to happen. What, the bottle? Are you scared of a bottle? Seriously? Yeah, I don't think Eddie meant to kill the maid. It was just an accident. But still, whether or not it was an accident, he did kill her. All right, Leah, let's go. What's this? Ugh, the stench. It reeks of death down there. That foul smell might lead us straight to where we need to go. Huh. I think the way to the mirror might be through that abyss. Perhaps. It's too dark to see what's down there. Find the abandoned village? What? Find the find the abandoned village? Oh, wait a minute. Be able to cobble together a light. Uh, I'm stupid. Put into bottle. Pour into bottle. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Eddie didn't want to do his delicate work. Oh, Molotov cocktail. But wait, what are we doing? Oh. Is that what we're doing? Oh, wow. So this is where Eddie dumped the bits he didn't need. Look, who knows how far down these chasms go? Or how vast the caves below are. The castle may have been built on top of wherever the mirror is kept. It doesn't look like we'll get any closer to it from down there, though. I think we should get moving, unless you still want to look around some more. No, no, I'm good. Mr. McKinnon. Master David. Miss Farber. How are you coping? If you don't mind me saying, you look like you could use some sleep. After seeing what happened in the old wing, I doubt I will ever sleep well again. Yes, I know exactly what you mean. No, sir. I do not think you do. Then what do you mean, Angus Beef? What do you mean? What do you mean, Angus Beef? Tell me! Tell me what you mean! We need to communicate! But, uh, yeah, how's Dickhead? I mean, Eddie. How is Eddie faring? The young master is in bed. We've ensured he's comfortable and 
cannot do any further harm. So you chained him down. Like to speak to him, to help us understand why he did what he did. Lady Margaret is sitting with him at the moment. Oh God! I'm he's in no fit state to talk. I hope he managed to sleep soon. Thank you, sir. As do I. Oh, Rory the gardener mentioned he wanted to speak with you. He's in the library. Oh, cool. Thanks, Thank Angus Beef. You know. My god, this family is so fucked up. But again, no family is perfect. My god, it is dark in here. And this little lady is hogging the goddamn candle. We need to find this deserted village. It's not on the map. And I have a feeling Lady Margaret and Angus will remain as unhelpful as they have been so far. Oh, they most According definitely will. The diary, your great grandmother would know where it is, though. Yep. Well, they did say. The guy did say the key was incomplete. I guess. But. Hold on. No, that. This, this doesn't add up. Wait, where's the fourth one? Moving on along, let's go to the attic. Whoa, hey, Rose, you're out of bed. You okay? Say something, Rosemary. Rose? Rosemary, it's me, it, it's David. I need you to help us. The village where Edward was born. Can you point to it on this map? C can you do that? Oh, nothing. It's like she's shut down. Rosemary. Just a second. Oh, don't worry. Leah's got this. Try now. Oh, oh, oh. Lipstick, 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 lipstick. Yeah. That's where the village is. We'll need a boat to get across the loch. There's one at the lakeside. Is it still seaworthy, though? Rory should know. Fucking Rosemary. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll catch you some slack since you were uh, being to a pulp with a crucifix. But Jesus Christ, what? What are you? What are you drawing? Is that a circle? My God, these people. Fuck these people. Not Rosemary. Poor old woman. They did this to her. Fuck these people. Fuck Eddie. No, not Eddie. He's kind of fucked up too, but... Fuck, fuck Edward, and fuck Lady Margaret. No, you know what? She doesn't deserve to be called a lady. Fuck Margaret. That fucking... I'm sorry. I'm calm. I'm calm. Let's go talk to Rory. Rory? Are you there? It's me, David. If you're not dead, please knock twice. Ah, there you are, Rory. I can't see you. You're gonna be fucking creepy. I can tell. Hello, Rory. What brings you to the library in the dead of night? I don't rightly know. Ah! I woke up. Something, a uh, feeling made me come here. I see. Really? I can. I wasn't a much of a help to you earlier. It is not easy for me to trust folks. Oh, I get it. From what I've seen of this family, I cannot entirely blame you. <laughs> What's with that tattoo on your neck? But that's not my question. The abandoned village. Although, he's probably not going to know where it is on the map, is he? Edward's diary mentioned an old, deserted village somewhere nearby. I can it. Oh. I haven't been up there in years, though. It is a fearful place, so it is. What happened? Why was it abandoned? The folks there were all killed. Ugh. All dead. Ugh. Wiped out overnight. Ugh. Nobody goes there anymore. Ugh. But Edward did. Yeah. Downfall. How did the village die? It was the druids. The druids using the black mirror. Aye, aye, it was. They got what they wanted, drove back the Romans. I bet they did. 
But it cost them. Cost them dear. Yeah. Can you take us to the village? No, son, I canna. My eyesight's not what it was again. And them woods are not safe with no map to guide you. Yeah. I can get you across the loch when you can the path, though. Okay. The way to the village. We've already found a way to the village. Oh, there we go. Well done, laddie. <laughs> you two go on ahead and ready the boat. All right. I'll see you down at the jetty. What? No, we can find it ourselves. It's what? cold and dark outside. What? No. I can the weather, lass. I'm not some bairn, and I'm not too old to walk up a hill. Yeah, Leah, yeah. no, shut up. I have a feeling you won't take no for an answer. Yeah. You have that right. And I can what's up there more than you both. I like this guy. I like Rory. No, not Roy from Gilmore Girls. This Rory. I like Rory. Top of the morning. Well, it's night. Although you can't tell, really. Or maybe you can. Who knows? Alright, let's get going. Even if we knew how to cross the woods safely, <clears throat> it would cost us a lot of time. We should go by boat. That'll at least be somewhat faster. Somewhat. Not a lot. Uh, let's go. Uh, 